My name is Ryan Pinders and I'll be your announcer for this evening. Nice to see you too, sir. We're actually gonna kick things off right now and help me intro help me welcome the owner of New Evolution Wrestling, Mr. Robert Saint! <laughs> Because at this time, we're going to do a pretend dog salute for one of our fans that passed away. On behalf of Robert Sandberg, we have miss you all. So, can you guys do that? Where's the bell? Guys, I would like to thank you all for doing that. It means a lot to me. At this time, NEW will be also participating in a basketball tournament at the St. Mark's School. We're going to be facing some of their players that um, Rob has been helping out through the years. They're an autistic organization. We really want to help them. That's why at this time, we're selling not only cancer, autism, um, NEW t-shirts and profits will be going to St. Jude's Hospital and they'll also be going to the Atlas Foundation for Autism. So if you could please purchase, it really goes to a good charity. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of autism, I would like to bring out NEW's new signery, Dante, that's also been helping out with autism. Dante? Wrestling. I really want to thank everybody for coming out here tonight. Now, as you may know, I've been in the wrestling business for a long time, but I'm also a professional actor. I teach acting and stage combat to people who have developmental disabilities, including autism. So let's just have a hand for them. Anybody in the audience tonight? Thank you very much. This is for a great cause. I really want to thank you, Robert, for giving me, the ace, Dante Jace, the opportunity to be here tonight. I'm so... my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.
Ruda. What, what the hell are you doing here? You know, Dante, I heard somebody say, opportunity. And when opportunity knocks, Dante, you don't want to get ready. When opportunity knocks, you want to be ready. Now why am I here? Robert, you know exactly why I'm here. Dante, I have come to NEW to create a brand new NEW opportunity. And I don't need to spell it out for you guys, right? NEW is for New Evolution Wrestling. Hold this for me, idiot. <laughs> show the fan. I have brought here some brand new gold for the talent in the back. You know why? Because opportunities, they need money. And to Mr. Ruda, dollars, they make sense. By the way, thanks you. Now everybody in the back, you better listen up. When you roll with Mr. Ruda, you are championship material. <laughs> and this right here is called the Open Challenge Championship. Which, hey, I'd say when you get this opportunity, but anybody that wants to challenge for this, heads up. The belt's here and the cheers for the taking. Who wants to make some money in this place? I do. Now hold on a second. You said anybody can challenge for that belt, right? Call me out. Anybody at all? Anybody in this building here tonight? Any wrestler on the NEW roster that wants a chance at this, they got it. That includes El Jefe over here. That's interesting. That's interesting. Now I'm sure Robert Sink would love an opportunity at this belt. But what I want you people here tonight to know is that I'm also a wrestler. I may not have wrestled in a while, but I'm tempted to get back in the ring because that is a pretty nice looking belt. And I think the ace, Dante Jace, is gonna be the next challenger for that open challenge championship. Right here, right now! Ladies and gentlemen, you're turning into NEW March Madness. Queen does go live. Leave Vinny by the pool. Captain America in the crowd. Yeah. 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 This guy deserves a championship opportunity before you. Oh, jeez. Dante? Dante? The yeah. well, last time I saw this guy, he was on a cushy seat behind a commentating table where you belong. Yes. You want a shot at this, Dante? You want to trip down memory lane? Come on. You want to roll with Mr. Rudy? Ladies and gentlemen, the an animosity between them has been going on for over a year now. And uh, you can sense the hatred. Trump 2020! Trump 2024! Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen the ace. Temptation, the ace has been backed against the wall. And a cheap shot, a cheap shot for Mr. Ruda himself. Making America greater and greater by the minute. Wow. Today has a big performance yet, but I hope you have the right champion for that belt. Gentlemen, uh, Dante, uh, the ace, has gotten his jewels kicked, and uh, I don't know if he's gonna have kids anytime soon. But uh, wow, he's on the run! Okay, and there we go.
Are you ready for the show? Yeah. Yeah. One thing I forgot to tell you, we actually changed the name tonight from Mad March Madness to now Birthday Beatdown. David Zubin, happy birthday! David's ready to take it, but let's see. I know David for a while now, man. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest is a tag team match, and it is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Tag Put my sunglasses on. This guy's jacket is too bright. What is Anybody it? Bada boom. Welcome back oh. to NEW. Whoa, are we, what are we doing here, guys? What Welcome, is this? David. Oh, what is this? What is this? What, is this? what, what do we have here, folks? I need my sunglasses on. This guy's jacket is too bright. <laughs> you know, he's got some style there, Benny. Some style there. I mean, you know, well, I, I work in the production side of the world. You know, I work behind the computer. I wish I had a class like that guy. Look at that. Real clothing on him. Looks like he came from some 70s gold ball. There's only guy here with a handkerchief on him. Santos. Camp. Santos with a handkerchief. And no points. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we do apologize for the foul language of my favorite wrestler in the ring. He ended up just uh, dropping the F-bomb. We do apologize for that. We don't apologize for... Alright, we do apologize. Something's happening back there. Trump built the wall already. Why are they coming here in America? What are you talking about? Originally, it was supposed to be Omen, Rockstar, and Nightmare. But due to Omen, Rockstar's injury, their tag team partner for this evening, on star Anthony Silva! section at Macy's, but uh, let's see if that's going to help him out with this match. Uh, and he's stepping out of the ring momentarily, buying his time, teasing his opponent. You're right, you're not ready, it's your time. You do what you want to do when you want to do.
I don't know if he's representing the Lakers. I can see the colors, uh, yellow and gold. You know, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Right, he's got him in the whole temporary room. Oh, slow the tackle. Okay, okay. the heart out of his chest, right, making him run for his money, making him a big run. Pretty strong chop there as you can see, um, and Silvio, right Silvio? Silvio, Silvio yeah. Silvio. Oh, here we go, the powerhouse. These folks are not holding back. So usually everyone I do this with Ace, but I know he's busy chasing around some some guy, some bold guy in the back. He's a small little guy. Yeah. Should it be hard to find? Probably running on the second train, I don't know. too much about the Sylvia guy, but I gotta say, I admire his pants. If that is a uh, shout out to the Lakers, I respect that. Um, oh, oh. Oh. This is like 18 years. Oh, that's a chop right there. That's just a chop. You're gonna feel that one in the morning. Revolution Wrestling, March Madness. I am here, Vinny Bonaboom, with the Ace Dante Jason and David. <laughs> Where's Dante? David, I don't know where Dante, Dante. is. I know. Can He's the call by call guy, I know. Bad matchup, we got fast pacing, got four days. Very well done indeed. Uh, not a second wasted, everybody's uh, going in for the kill. Right now we have breaking his way out. Like dirt on the ground, kicking that dirt off your shoulder, your foot. Oh, gotta admire that. Okay, that was exactly I don't know too much about these guys, but I gotta say they're giving their all. I don't know much about the background, but going head to head, going toe to toe, putting it all on the line tonight here at New Evolution Wrestling. I am 
seem impressed tonight. What about you, David? Well, I've seen some wrestling back in my day and interviews, up, up and coming talents here. I mean, um, strong potential. Uh, I mean, the crowd favorite right now, so. See, it's all about ring psychology, it's about knowing what you're going to do and working with your partner and it's really a really good matchup. So. Well, you know what? They annoy me. I don't know why. They just do. You know what? I think you need to tell my Jack and Coke here if anybody's out of room. I might take you up on that, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. 
Thank you, Mr. Propeller number two. Hailing also from Miles Puerto Rico, this is Roxy. What is it? What is it? Puerto Rico, Puerto Ricans, what is it? Did you have an earthquake? What are you doing here? Oh. They're, they're kind of hot, but you know what? They're not wife material. That's a raccoon, Vinny Bottaboom. That's some sort of animal. I've never seen a raccoon like that before. I believe that's vanity in the ring. Jocelyn Navarro is the final competitor in this four-way match for the women's championship. And she seems fired up, Vinny. They should be in the kitchen. What kind of sandwich would you like cooked today? Peanut butter and jelly. You cook that? It sounds delicious. And the bell has sounded, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fatal four-way women's championship match here at New Evolution Wrestling March Madness. Once again, I am the ace, Dante Jace, joined by Vinny Bada Boom. And we're so happy to be here on this cold March evening. And the action starts fast and furious. Luthes press and punches raining down. Oh, and this is like stereo I'm looking at. Well, fans, those, those two who seem to have the advantage right now, well, Princess Ashanti taking advantage. You know what a real princess does is? What's that? princess takes orders from the prince. The princess is not a fighter. You stay at home, you do your knitting, you knit your socks, you shirt, your clothes. That's it. Well, this princess is certainly a brawler. She's brawling right now with Roxy. Oh, and she is tripped by Vanity, rolling out to the inside. Now Vanity in the ring to square off with Princess Ashanti. And Vanity tries for a shoulder tackle. Too much power from Princess Ashanti. She almost flew to Puerto Rico. Perhaps, is that where she's from? I don't know. Well, there's a nice arm drag. A second one from Jocelyn Navarro. Now she's working on the arm. A Fujiwara arm bar, it looks like. No, she's trying to get into the backslide. Only a one count, though. There's a hard forearm shot from Roxy. You won't be able to eat breakfast tomorrow if you're here like that. 
Yeah, maybe not. I wonder, Vinny Bada Boom, are any of these women the type that you usually go for? No. That's a, an absolutely resounding no. And they why is that? Be, they have to be like, I love Lucy, like, be home, like, honey, I'm home. They have to wear a dress. They have to, they have to be subservient to my male needs. I see. Well, I think any one of these women, there's a series of covers there, only two counts though. I think any of these women would be able to beat the crap out of you, Vinny Bottom. Hey. Well, and there's a chop there from Roxy. And a series of shoulders to the midsection from Princess Ashanti. Now the princess goes over, gets met with a hard shot from Roxy. Roxy with a, a lot of right hands to everyone in this match. This has broken down to a brawl. I don't think the ref has control of what's... Oh, but there is a double clothesline. Two competitors go down. And a shot to the back from Jocelyn Navarro. She's not adverse to taking cheap shots. Yeah, I think he's being paranoid about the virus. Regardless, though, up to the top goes... Jocelyn Navarro, she's got... Oh, look at this. This is going to be one big train wreck. The Tower of Doom. Oh! Down they go in a heap. You know what? I got to admit, I, I am, I am kind of impressed. All right, uh, this is a... Just a little bit, Vinny. Like 1%. Don't push your luck, Ace. All right, well, everyone starting for... Well, not everyone, but some competitors starting to get back to their feet. Vanity and uh, Princess Ashanti sent hard into the turnbuckle. And now Vanity with a clothesline. Setting her up. What's she setting her up for? Oh! A kick right to her special area. I was going to say the word, but you know what? Special, yeah. yeah, and goes for the pin there. Only two, though. Princess Ashanti somehow able to get the shoulder up. Oh, there's a spear from Princess Ashanti, and that's it. That was three. <laughs> New women's champion, Princess Ashanti, taking care of all her opponents here tonight, getting the win in a very hard-fought match. I think I'm going to take David on his offer that drink, uh, Jack Daniels, whatever. I'm going to be man enough to say congratulations, all right? Congratulations. I'll be a man, all right? I'll be a man. That's it.
happy birthday to Baby Z. Hush, Vinny Varabar. How do you say that? Hush? Hush, H U S H. I think you said hush. Oh, Vinny. Let me give you my drink. So, Hush Holiday is, uh, I think he's deaf, probably. Tone deaf. So, yeah, so, but he's able to compete in the ring and work to communicate with the other wrestlers and, yeah. Hush guy, he's uh he's here for business. I, can, I guess there's some animosity between them and uh and they're locking up. Nice chop to the chest. But, uh, David, I don't know this much about this Hush guy. Um, you're familiar with him? I uh, worked at the PW about four years ago. Okay. And uh, I was trying to do a promo and someone explained to me. But, I mean, he's easy to work with based on what I was told. And here he is now. Not too bad. And what about Ice? Do you know where Ice is right now? Because this guy is still... You really are so good. This is proof to show that there are never any limitations. And Hush is hyping the audience up. because he started off very strong and he's very um I can see the air is getting him out of him you know he's uh he's struggling for breath is hungry. This hush has ambition. He is, he is ready to go and prove himself to the world. He is, he is on fire tonight. Well, 
Vinny Bonaboom, we've got Hush Harrison there against Black Zemis. What do you think so far of this match? Well, I was telling Dave, but I don't know where the ice agents are yet. This guy shouldn't be roaming around. I thought Chuck closed the borders, and I'm kind of angry. This guy, this, this guy with the mask. You know, I'm going to put ice myself. Well, we are familiar with him here in NEW. That is Black Zemis. And uh, Hush Holiday, I should say, his opponent is getting his face rubbed into the mat. And Hush Holiday, I mean, this guy's got a tough struggle ahead of him. We saw Black Zemis last time at the last show, Evolution. And he is an extremely powerful individual. Yeah, very tenacious. He does not give up with this submission maneuver. A one count, though. Black Zemis has to make sure his shoulders weren't down on the mat during that submission maneuver. But he seems to be in firm control. Look at Hush Holiday fighting back series of forearms. Reversal there. I gotta give credit, David brought to my attention that he was turned back. So I gotta um, I gotta give him credit for making it this far. Well, that's great. It fits right into tonight, which is a fundraiser for autism and other charities for awareness. And Hush Holiday may be on the losing end though. Two count, only two. Ref Zubin says. That's only two. Is it? Well, maybe you want to give him a birthday beatdown, Vinny Bada Boom. His hand goes down. No, only once. He's still in it. He's fighting back. He's not done yet. There's an elbow to the midsection. Second one. Oh, going for the victory roll is Hush Holiday. Only two. Black Zemis able to kick out. Black Zemis, a very tough competitor as well. I gotta give it to Black Zemis. Absolutely. And now Hush goes up to the second rope. Kicks Black Zemis in the arm. He's got the Greco Roman knuckle lock applied. He's up to the top rope, walking along Shades of the Undertaker, but he does a flip and just tosses him aside. He has very athletic maneuver, goes for the only a two count there off the Northern Light Suplex. Look at Black Zemis scrambling to the ropes to try and get a hold of them. There's a chop. Yeah, hard chop. Have you ever been chopped like that, Vinny? Uh, yeah, you know, my wife, uh, she chopped me in the balls. Whoa! Hurricane Rana from Hush goes for the cover on Black Zemis. Only a two count. Very, very close. Hush is dumbfounded. He thought that was three. And now Hush Holiday goes for a cartwheel elbow in the corner, misses that. And Black Zemis, come on, he poked him right in the eye. Setting him up. Look at that sit out power bomb, and that's it. Oh, no, it's not. It's only two. I could have sworn Zubin's hand went down for the three count. Well, our mistake fans from our vantage point, that absolutely looked like three, but the ref says two, and his word is final. Now Black Zemis going for the Boston Crab, it looks like. Oh, flips it around, does Hush. And that is a two count for sure. 
Black Zemis says that could be it. Nice athletic moves here. Yeah, Black Zemis lifts Hush up. He's looking for the backpack stunner. Now that could be it. Pulling him to the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. And that's it. No doubt about that one. Black Zemis gets the win. Very hard fought match though. Hush Holiday gave it a great shot, but Black Zemis just too much for him tonight. Black Zemis, what is that superhero name? Maybe. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. tonight. Thank you. 
being accompanied to the ring by the manager of champions, the champions of managers, Mr. Big Hill from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. This is the reinforcer, Andrew Anderson. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to find out when a enforcer goes up against a Greek. Let me tell you, the God created the enforcer. See, God had his own enforcer, Jesus. I don't know if Andrew is ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Greek God from Athens. He's a very tall, strong athlete. Be a very interesting match. Interesting indeed. Papa! Alright, Vinny, very important now. Hit the bell, right? Or else I might get punished. Yeah. <laughs>
reprimand them. Any knockdown the manager. I'm gonna feel that one in the morning. What? How did he do that? How did a mere simpleton like him chop him to the ground? Wow. He is a great guy, Randy Bottom. going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Greek God. back of his head, but he better watch out because, oh, he got him. Oh, okay. Oh, almost taking the breath out of him. Taking all that human air out of him. Could he be out? Uh-oh, could he be out? And he's in. And he's in. Oh, God. Giving him a run for his money tonight. Anderson's a veteran of this business. He's been around for years and years and decades. 
But wow, this is a this is quite a big upset tonight. But you know what? When you go against, when you go against the God, that's what happens. I don't know. A big upset tonight. I think uh, Mr. Anderson is kind of shocked. Uh, right now, he's a little confused. God has retreated. The God has went up back into his class. Boy, USA. Oh, 
Now we have Mr. America himself, Dante Chase. Yes, I was handling some business in the back. I had some contracts to sign, but I will tell you that it will be official that I will be taking on Mr. Ruda in the future. Sorry to be missing all of this incredible action, though. What did I miss, Vinny? It's okay. I figured you were getting some action back there, so... Oh, the, the kind of action you know quite well, huh? Hey! Well, we have the Patriot here, an American hero. And he's going to be taking on uh, the team of Greg Jones and... Is that the Nightmare? Well, this is not a match. Oh. Well, I am lost. No, thank you, David. Ah, well, here is the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, we've got GMA Incorporated, Greg Jones, and the Nightmare taking on the Patriot. The Patriot, the American hero, and he's being checked by Ref Ozzy right now. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am the ace, Dante Jace, joined by Vinny Badaboom and the mostly silent David. <laughs> We are here for New Evolution Wrestling March Madness, and look at this, the Nightmare taking it to the Patriot. It's going to be two-on-one here tonight. Just putting the boots on double team on the Patriot. What's that, Vinny? i got to give uh, David credit. He's living the American spirit. He's he is an embodiment of the American dream. Hot dogs, chips. Yeah, it's like the regular 4th of July out here. We've got American flags. Fireworks and the Patriot taking on two opponents at once. Ducks under the clothesline, and there's a double clothesline. I think we just had a level five earthquake. Absolutely. The ring shook, the building shook, and your loins shook. I think I lost my sperm count. Got oh, and speaking of lost sperm count, Greg Jones' head just went into the nightmare's nether region. I don't think he'll be having kids anytime soon. And look at this. Patriot looking to make it two for two. Oh! Greg Jones has been castrated. Welcome to America, boy. It's America. Well, Greg Jones may not be enjoying the country right now. He better have a good health care plan. Look at that. There's a bulldog clothesline combination from the Patriot. I have to admit, I am impressed with the size and agility. I am very impressed. Absolutely. The Patriot, a very large man, giant of a man, and he's getting the crowd behind him here tonight. I, I, I think he's Puerto Rican. He's wearing a mask. I think he's here illegally. I don't think he's an American. I think he's overcompensating. Oh, so you're saying this is just a persona to pretend that he's American? Yes, so he can get away from the ICE authorities. Well, I think that's ridiculous. The Patriot, a true American hero, has been in the business for decades. And right now he's going outside the ring to chase GMA Incorporated. A look at the Nightmare and Greg Jones. They both slide right back in. The Patriot... Patriot is confused that they're cowardice, I believe. And just like that, he takes the nightmare down. But Greg Jones. This guy has a big first ball. I don't know why he keeps going after that. Well, that's their weak spot, Vinny Bonaboom. And look at Ref Ozzy getting involved. Well, uh, that seemed to be some kind of suplex, I believe. Meanwhile, the nightmare is in some great pain. Oh! Let me tell you something. A real man doesn't hit another man in the balls. That's a cowardice strategy. 
I absolutely agree with that, especially after tonight when I got hit in the balls by Mr. Ruda earlier on tonight. But I'll tell you what, Greg Jones taunting the Patriot. And the fans chanting for the USA and the Patriot once again looking to do damage to those family jewels of Greg Jones. Now that's got to hurt. Even the audience is agreeing with us. Yeah, that's true. Now the Patriot has a head. He's got enormous hands. He's just grabbing the two heads of his opponent, rams them into each other. Yeah, he's manhandling his two opponents at once. Oh, now there's a hard chop and pokes Greg Jones in the eye. The Patriot just going to town on both his opponents here. Oh, another hard chop. I think Greg Jones's chest may be caved in at the moment. Nightmare trying to say, don't hurt me. Well, you're gonna get plenty of pain, Nightmare. And one for Greg Jones, the Patriot dominating this match. What do you think of this destruction, Vinny Badaboom? I think this is a disgrace. This guy represents America. Are you kidding me? This guy hitting balls, slapping hearts out of chest. This is America? Not the America I know. Well, I believe he was just hitting the balls himself. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. They just got some revenge on him. And the nightmare going to town on the Patriot, just battering him, choking away. Come on, ref. Oh, and make a wish. I know we were saying it's the 4th of July. It's more like Thanksgiving because they just tried to snap him like a turkey. Only a two count there. I gotta say when it's two on one, that that imbalance is kind of hard to overcome for Mr. America. Absolutely. The Patriot, a very strong and tough individual, but he's in there with two opponents. Nightmare and Greg Jones, that would be hard for anybody to overcome. And GMA Incorporated in firm control at this point. He won't be able to move his neck in the morning on the bed. Yeah, he's definitely going to be feeling this one in the morning. Greg Jones just choking, targeting the throat, and the nightmare holding him, but Greg Jones! Wow, he's like a horse. It's like riding the pony. It's like riding the D. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what you meant. Oh, and there's one for the nightmare. Well, he's trying to make mincemeat of his opponent's family jewels. And he just made some mincemeat of his chest as well. Hard shot. And there, very nice calf kick. And look at this, two! Only a two count. Patriot able to get the shoulder up. Fans chanting for the USA. Double trapezius nerve hold on the Patriot. The Patriot gathering power from these fans here tonight. Punching away. Oh, but a double clothesline sends the Patriot down. 
see the Patriot guy is very, uh, his stamina is starting to wear off a little bit. He's starting to get a little, uh... Yeah, fireman's carry here. Big kick misses, hits his own man with the enziguri, and now the Patriot... Don't turn him back! Turn him around! Hooks him up with the full Nelson slam! Could this be it? Two and three, that's it! The Patriot gets the win! American hero, the Patriot, gets the three count and the win over both members of GMA Incorporated. Yeah, the only American in here I know that goes after somebody's family jewels. Come on, real American hero. Well, he is a hero to all the fans here tonight at New Evolution Wrestling. I can agree with this guy is his patriotism. America first. Donald Absolute. Trump 2020. Oh, come 2020 on. Get out of here Bernie with this. Bernie Sanders leave. Get out of here. Whoever said Joe Biden leave. Go back to Russia. You are ridiculous, Vinny Badaboom. Can you see Russia from your house? Yeah. Back window. There he is, the patriot, ladies and gentlemen. The fans love him. Good guy. Most of the time. Oh, come on. Oh. We are back from intermission and my voice is cracked up. I'm Vinny Bada Boom. And I'm along with other people here. Along with Johnny P here. With limited commentary, but if I feel more comfortable, then I'll give full blown commentary. Thank you, Johnny P. This is the trial of my commentary, and I hope you all like it. Oh, yeah, we're judging you. We're judging you. Oh, yeah. uh, judge away, judge away. <laughs> this 
guy, his name is... I don't know, he says he's a good guy. He's from Buenos Aires, and he was holding up a shirt that said something, probably... He's an eagle. He's an eagle. We should kill him out. That's what... Oh, all right. All right, well, as soon as we find out, as soon as we find out what that shirt says, then we will proceed to find out who he's wrestling for. We will find out where this match will go. This is a very important match. This is a triple what? It's a triple threat match. Three way. Three way. Three way match here. Check it out. I still don't know what that shirt says. I mean, because it's, it presents it to us in this direction. Yes. It's, it's, it's kick him out. Kick him out. I just gotta. Uh, it might kick him out if he doesn't know what that shirt says. Uh, you can tell he's losing his temper right now. He's a little he's uh, more losing his temper, losing his hair. As you can see, that's why he has the headband. It's covered next to the alopecia. Enjoy this anymore. I have to be doing something to do the camera or bring the bell. It's just, I like being part of the process. Oh, snap. Oh, he got him. Okay, by the looks of it, that is not Shadow, that is Flavor Flav. Um, he's come out of retirement and he is now wrestling. Uh, I like the grills, I dig the grills he has. Yep, that's two gold teeth I see. These are the kind of guys you want to see in the alley at night on your way home from work. Well, I mean, grills scare me in general, so I would pretty much, you know, regardless of who they are, grills just scare me. And he's flying like he's fluttering now. He's in a position of, of um, it's a bed position that um, it's something he's, he wants to be in right now. There's a lot of awkward behavior going on in this ring. If, A weird wardrobe, but that's the wrestling world for you. Oh, it's wait. Um, so green hoodie appears to be wearing. Do you enjoy looking at that? Pants, enjoy looking at that? A pants that says wait. Pants that says smokes. smokes. See, my reading level on apparel is not that great. Uh, as you can see, that other guy. I don't know what that shirt says. You can tell that the three people in these ring right now are just, you know, are just looking for work. And um, yeah, they found it. Found it in a place that makes them very comfortable to be themselves, which I'm for. From England? From England. I feel like I'm about to enter a boxing match right now. The heat is up. This guy is here. He's ready. He's not here to mess around. He's here for business. He's, yep, he's ready than all. He's ready than everybody else. Right? Engaging. Engaging. High energy. Like it. What do you think so far? Um, so, so far we have one of the wrestlers, the one who just came out, who is the most alive, in my opinion. And I think we'll most likely win the match. I like that. He has like the Ender the Dragon outfit. It's pretty nice. I am really 
impressed with this guy's abs. I gotta admit that. Very good. We're not gonna talk about how I ran that battle. That was a good battle. Still going through my ears. Shout out to the bell ringer. Got a ear, got a schedule an ear appointment. All friends in the end, right? No, we're not. This is wrestling. No one should ever establish friendship, especially in the ring. Thank you. Yes. Ever. Thank you. Finally, somebody agrees with me. I want to see mayhem. I want to see bruises. I want to see. I want to see stage combat as soon as possible. I want to see actual brutal beatdown via stage. There we go. All right, we're alive now. Blood is flowing. That guy's fluttering, prancing like a butterfly. I thought that guy was a ninja turtle when I saw him. He's giving me ninja turtle vibes, definitely. Another Donatello. Leonardo. Definitely a Ninja Turtle. A Ninja Turtle on unemployment. You have to give them credit. Very, uh, very acrobatic, very flexible. Their agility is phenomenal. This might be the most energetic match yet, yes. Yes. Right on cue. Right on cue. We're gonna get a whole flash of that. person on that like in the roster would just annihilate me wow. so I cannot I cannot this guy has to be from Cirque du Soleil that was uh, I'll give him credit for that that was amazing he does he does it looks like he got fired from Cirque du Soleil and this was his demotion yeah he found a wrestling gig and then he's like yeah it, it checks out Pump, they say pump that ass. Okay, a lot of a lot of energy with the, with the speech going on. A lot of energy with the speech going on. We got the cameraman engaged, laughing his ass off. Two. with the hoodie on your way here like he saw you he stalked you he was fluttering his arms like what he was doing a few minutes ago he knew you were coming he knew you were coming he just might be the most weirdest one and thinks outside the box well outside the ring so to speak And then you have Mr. Do Nothing that's just yeah. Mr. Ninja Turtle unemployed, just hitting the ring, trying to make his coin by hype just hitting the, the ring. Man. He's his own hype man, too. Yes. On the chop to the chest. Take a turn to chopping each other. See, a single chop would have landed me in the ER. Team up and work together for this brief moment in time. Seems a bit 
serious trouble. This could be it for him. And the people who decided to double team turn against each other. Everybody is And once again, he's tonight. fluttering on the side of the outside. <laughs> is over, even though he cannot make that call, but all right. Flying DDT, wow. And wow, phenomenal. I am impressed with him. Very Most impressed. I knew he wasn't going to go out. I knew he wasn't going to go out. He had the stamina, energy. The guy's built like a damn atrium. I knew he wasn't going to lose. Look okay. at We got, um... We got the Hype Man Ninja Turtle. Hype Man Ninja Turtle. That's that's. I don't know his name, but we're gonna go with that. And, uh, amazing cheer from the crowd. Great support. These guys are jealous. They're jealous. He's out. This guy's physique is like he went into the volcano and just came out crystallized. Wow. Yeah, he looks like he's immune. He looks like he's immune to the coronavirus. Oh, yeah. He's immune. Hey. He's immune. Quite impressive. Very impressed with his work tonight. Who's up next? We got Johnny P is next. I'm kidding. Just kidding. It's my time to shine, people. You know, I was the announcer, but I'm actually an actual wrestler. In my dreams. And then I woke up. But before we continue the action, just want to let you guys know over at the new Evolution Wrestling table, we have t shirts on sale tonight, and some of the designs are for each and different, different cancers. And portions of each sale will go to the correct, I'm sorry, the right, can, uh, I believe the right foundations, right? All right, St. Jude's Hospital. The Atlas Foundation of Autism. So that's where all the proceeds are going to go for the, shirt, for the shirt sales, all right? So get yourselves a couple of shirts before you leave this evening. And now we move on to our next contest, and it is scheduled for one fall. Yes, final. Ruda. It's always a joy to see him. Is that Mr. Trump supporter Ruda? And what's the problem with that? Nothing. I'm just saying it's the elephant in the room, so so to speak. Shiny bald Rudas in the house. Oh, he just see how the way Ruda just spoke to diabetes like that. Should not speak to my friend diabetes like that. 
By the way, diabetes was not my word. It was from one of the wrestlers. So I'm just, just piggyback riding off of some hilarious commentary. Wait, is there actual smoke in here? What? No! So he definitely does not want the coronavirus. He is well protected. He is very well protected. Um, Polyester, I think that's a material that nothing can go through anyway. It's not a breathable material. Uh, I should know, I grew up um, with most of my dress shirts being polyester. And, um, yeah, he's... uh, it's very well guarded. What do you think? Uh, I, smoke has been around. He's uh, he's very well protected for coronavirus. That's one thing. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, and he's made contact with Ruta, so, yeah, so he's, 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 found, he's found to have some sort of some sort of illness. There. Illness of perhaps arrogance. Trump 2020, Trump 2024, Trump 2022, 2028. 2020, and then that's it, right? He's, oh, no, no. He's an extended. You, you think Donald Trump could extend a third term like Bloomberg could do in New York? That's insane. That'll be, be, be very interesting. You know how Trump is. He'll, he'll, he'll try to sound, like, sound the alarm on Trying to make things happen for a third time. That's how he is. Oh God! What? How is he doing this? The A starts a chase. What? Definitely know that guy from somewhere. Well, 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 Mr. Ruda. Did you think I was done here tonight? You think you were gonna be able to get rid of me that easily? Yes. <laughs> you have another thing coming, Ruda. I'm going to take you on for that Open Challenge Championship, but not tonight. Tonight, I've got a man who's going to take your man Smoke out. I've got a what? Man, man, man who is my very good friend, who I've tag teamed with before. Please welcome El Wapo Nova! Oh, God! Oh, God! Lil Nova! I remember seeing them tag team about, about a year or two ago, a year and a half ago. I was really, really impressed. The Ace and Lunova are teaming up again. There's a lot of history in between these people. A lot of history and animosity. Wow! Lunova looking fresh. I'm sorry, Lou. I don't think you want the smoke. And Ace, come on, Ace. Do you really want smoke? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Dante. This is one hell of a matchup here. We got ourselves uh, Joel Bruno ringside with us. It's Dante Jason inside. And we got smoke. The loot over. It's just going to be an in- ex- ex- explosive matchup. Yes. Very explosive matches. I've seen them match, like I said before, they teamed up in the past about a year and a half ago. Really impressed. I can't wait to see what's in store. Ladies and gentlemen, I just been informed by the referee in charge of Russ Zubin that he approves of this match, meaning this match will start right now. What? What? That's not fair. Once again, shout out to the bell ringer. I'm going to have to make that ear appointment expedited as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Equal power, equal strength. Wow. Face to face. So we got Puerto Rico versus the coronavirus, and I think we see a clear winner in that. Since I'm Puerto Rican myself, half Puerto Rican, my bias is clearly on Mr. Puerto Rico. 
You're and, Puerto uh, Rican? You better leave America. I, <laughs> hey, we're part of it, all right? We're the territory, right? It's, it's my Dominican side that's not oh, part of it. Oh, you want to go political now. Right? So, so, so half of me could stay and half of me has some, has some wow. documents to fill out. Wow, what a, that's an impressive feat of strength. Spark from the crowd and high levels. Of Overwhelming energy from the audience. Feeding off, he is, he is feeling it, definitely feeling himself. Mr. Yes. Puerto is, is not shying away. And then you got Mr. Ruda up to, up to his antics as usual. Wow. Do you, know the, the work I know. do you know of any chance what the HWE stands for on the shirt? I don't know. Hot Women Entertainment? I don't know. It could be Hot Women Entertainment. Or it could be a PSA on how we end the coronavirus. Ah, ah. I just thought about that. Okay, I'm going to trademark that. Nobody good take one. that away. That's good, yeah. Don't release this unless I, I brought the domain name. And the and smoke. Get it ready to chop. Chop Lou. Oh, what a strong chop to Lou. Lou Nova. Wow. So in case you didn't know. Um, Another chop. In case you didn't know about the coronavirus, it's only spread through bodily fluids. So the fact that he's, he's chopped him like several times and um. It has to be like spit or sweat or something like that. So I think he's good for him. Mr. Puerto Rico will be fine. Once we build the wall, Puerto Rico won't be working with us anymore. And this is and this is a message to Puerto Rico. Stay strong. I love you. And I hope you don't contract any viruses over. I can't say anything bad about that. Wait, you can't say anything, right? Vinny, be quiet. <laughs> You're not even Puerto Rico. You're fake Italian. Hey! <laughs> So far, some out of, outside of the ring entertainment. But I have a hard time uh, seeing that. And Smoke interacting with the audience. Interacting with the fan. Oh! Smoke's ready to go back. Goes him back in the ring. Wow. Oh, he can't speak. Oh, no, you don't want to test out Smoke. Bad idea. I like those uh, those locks and smoke. I like the gold, the goldy locks. Oh, is it locks? Definitely stre the streamers, right? The streamers from the yeah, yeah. yeah. We definitely robbed them of some, I don't know, some compounds or chili. I don't know. And Ruda! Distracting! Referee distracted. Referee did not see what Ruda just did. Thank you, Ruda, for making America great again. You clearly broke a sweat trying to do that move.
chop to the chest. Another chop to the chest. Will is finally going to work on smoke. Gaining momentum. Mr. Puerto Rico gaining that momentum. They should gain momentum on the way out of America. In. They gain their momentum in. Back in the ring. In America. No. And then we'll sort all those things out. All the paperwork after the match. No. The ace Dante Jace is. I, I can see Ace is ready. To, he's getting itchy. He's getting itchy. He's ready to get in the ring. He's ready. He's ready. Bridging his problem to get back up. Kicks out a two. Ace Dante Jace calling up the referee. <laughs> calling him out on Buddha's rudeness and his antics. Oh, it's a biohazards. I mean, biohazard and coronavirus, they're kind of the same shit. is in one piece after this. Wow. I gotta admire the stamina and tenacity of Lou Nova still hanging in there. Hanging in there by a thread. Hanging in there. He's definitely not giving up here. Kids chanting to break his legs. As you can see, this, these kids out here are very. They really want the man's legs broken. Yes. Oh! And a slap to the ass. Oh, off the wall, holding his ring. Holding. Working on that. Is he back? Back. Yep. And they got the energy. There we go. And we're and back, people. Lou Nova picks up momentum. Puerto Rican strong. We're back, people. Oh, oh that was a kind of a rough landing for Smoke. The referee Luda is once again up to no good. The smoke is silently getting himself together. There's just a lot going on right now. You know, Biohazard, you know, he's back up again. Oh, now he's he back sets down. up Lou Nova, making it look like he got hit. What? He set Lou Nova up, making it look like he got hit with the championship belt. Setting him up. Such Setting him up. How could. Buddha, the mastermind. Buddha is such a mastermind. Buddha up to his slide tricks again. Not Buddha. Uh, no. And there's chaos and destruction going on there. Oh God! Ace going off the top rope. Don't they going off the top rope? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh. Whoa! Oh, no. Catch you by Right in the family jewels. The testicles. Once again, Puerto Rican is back. Oh. 
Ruda up to the slide tricks again. Oh no. Yeah, Ruda was up to the slide tricks. He looks Correction. like he's about to toss Ruda. My correction. Like how Trump tossed those paper towels at the Puerto Ricans. That's a good one. My correction. Ruda is up to the slide tricks. But now Ruda is cornered between Dante Jace, the ace, and Ludova. And a stunner! And a stunner! Oh god! The ace does a stunner! Definitely got his payback. That's a great Dante. Ace Dante Jace. Sharp in the ring. Dante just back in the ring. Ludo tag team. Wow. He wrinkled Ruto's already wrinkled clothing. Don't worry, Ludo. I'll go for Trump. November 2020. Dante Jones once again embracing oh, the crowd. Alright, I like Ace, but come on. Alright. We get it, we get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a disqualification, Smoke. Messed up. Completely messed up. This wife is blind, man. That was good teamwork. Nothing and no. Will there be a part two to this? Fucked up in this. We'll find out. After this commercial. Congratulations tonight.
opponent comes in. Jace, that was a great matchup. Holy cow. Thank you very much, David. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy I got to kick Ruta's ass once more. But unfortunately, his client came out on the winning end due to cheating. But I will get my hands on Mr. Ruta next time. And look at Steven Person throwing some streamers up in the air, trying to adhere himself to the fans here in Queens, New York. Pleasure seeing you in the ring again, Ace. Absolutely, Vinny. I'm happy that I was able to get in there, show some stuff. And the fans have some choice words for Mr. Steven Person in person. Yeah, Ref Zubin. You know, I was very tempted to give him a Jace Crusher as well. But luckily for him, it was his birthday, and I took mercy on him. Well, Steven Person, in person, is set to take on KC Lycan. Calls for the bell. And there it is. And KC Lycan coming out like a house of fire on Steven Person. Very quick start to this one. Once again, the ace Dante Jace along with Vinny Bada Boom here in Queens, New York for New Evolution Wrestling and Casey Lycan really battering Steven Person from pillar to post. He's not letting up at all. I mean, Rev Zubin may have no choice but to call for a disqualification sooner or later. Absolutely, Vinny. Very fast-paced, and it looks like Casey Lycan is setting him up for something. Boot to the face, it looked like, and Steven Person is on the ropes. Oh, trying to send him right over the ropes. They go tumbling out. Yeah, Steven Person, I believe, was trying to hold on, but it looked like, uh, it looked like KC was able to get him over. Now, what do you think with a match like this, Vinny Bada Boom, when you've got one competitor like Steven Person, who's obviously got the size advantage? KC Lycan, not the biggest competitor, but I think he's going to have to use his speed. What do you think? I think the speed will equal to the size. I think the speed will match up to the power of the size. Absolutely. He is showing some skill in there, and right now... Uh, it's hard for us to see from our vantage point, but I believe both competitors are down. Well, you know, Staten Island is a dump. Ace Dante Chase sending some autographs to the kids. He's, he's flexing, you know, you know, he's doing his things, he's flexing for the kids. Shout out to his match as well. well. I've got some fans here, some young fans just asked me for my autograph. You just corrupted somebody. <laughs> well, it's a great feeling. And back to the match, Casey Lycan battering Steven Person from pillar to post. Oh! 
Stephen Person showing a lot of power. Now, you know Stephen Person has quite the mean streak. At our last event, Evolution, he really went to town on JD Alpha, and uh, right now he's putting quite the beating on KC Lycan. Goes for the pin. Two count, says Ref Zubin. In person, you don't even have to see him on video. I mean, I'm sure you will be watching this video. Richard Ruiz, the great cameraman and editor, is filming all of these matches, so you fans will be able to watch this again and again. And there's also nothing like seeing NEW in person, Steven Person in person, working on the leg of Casey Lightman. And he's got the leg wrapped in the rope right now. Oh, stomping away on the knee. I tell you, Ref Zubin is really letting this guy get away with a lot. He may be... Uh, getting away with murder. Yeah, getting away with murder, literally, if Casey Lycan doesn't leave this place alive. Steven Person. Oh, look at that. Twisting the leg. Just dropping it to the mat. And KC Lycan is in a world of pain. He's going to need a crutch tomorrow. Yeah, he may need another leg. I am honored. He may need a prosthetic leg, I believe. Steven Person's just trying to grind his leg right off. What is this, saw? Sometimes you gotta grind on your own. That sound. Are you, are you used to grinding, Vinny Bada Boom? Hey! Perhaps you grind on uh, people at a venue that has poles. Hey! Well, Steven Person, a very angry man looking to get his aggressions out on KC like in KC just battering the body of, of uh, Steven Person and there's a jawbreaker this could be his opportunity oh he couldn't he went for the super kick his leg gave out and Steven Person takes advantage big boot to the face and the ref has to think about stopping this one Steven Person very arrogant cover not able to get the job done there. Knee drop to the face. Gotta give credit to the tenacity of uh, uh, he's still hanging in there despite everything he's been through. And Steven Person wants to break that leg of KC Lycan, but he does not give up. KC is a very tenacious individual. He's still fighting back. And he has bad intentions. He intends to break the leg. Yeah, trying to snap it right off. Just DDTs the leg down into the mat. Goes for another pin here. Two. Another lackluster pin. I believe if Steven Person put some more effort into these covers... He might have already put Casey Lycan away. What do you think, Vinny? I agree with you, Ace. He's probably asking himself, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? If he did put more effort into it, he could have a chance. Yeah, I think he's kind of just toying with Lycan, but he's fighting back. See, this is what happens. This is why you can't give somebody an opportunity like that. Back on his Oh, big clothesline takes the big Steven person down. And a second one. Casey Lycan perhaps catching his second wind here in this match and there's the Judas effect he must have learned that from somebody else that we're very familiar with a super kick there cover and person able to get that shoulder up you know with Steven Person's weight his size it's 
kind of hard for him to take him out. It's not going to be easy. He's going to have to put in a lot more effort to get him out. Absolutely. Steven Person, like we said before, has the size advantage. But does he have the stamina advantage? This match has gone on for a while. Like in Avalanche Splash. And like in setting him up, getting tossed into that corner turnbuckle. Steven Person once again in control. Spine Buster from Person. What's he going for here? Turning him around into a reverse Boston Crab. Oh, this has got to be an extremely painful maneuver. Casey Lichen in excruciating pain. His quads are probably ripping like now like turkey on Thanksgiving. They're stretching out. And Steven Person transitioning it into a single leg crab. That's it. Ref Zubin calls for the bell. I believe Casey Lichen may have passed out. Ref Zubin says no. What's going on here? What's it, my apologies. The result of the match as a TKO, Steven Person. And Steven Person knocked Casey Lichen out. Good. He's passed out, and Steven Person, he says he's not done. Uh oh. He may. Maybe, maybe he's trying to take Casey Lichen up, apart in pieces. Oh no, he's got that chair. What? He loves to use that chair. And what's he gonna do with it? Our wonderful timekeeper trying to make sense of all this, stop the carnage. Oh, come on, not here in New York. No! Okay, we may not like the weather, Dante. Oh, well, maybe I should, but... Oh, wait, no, here comes some more referees. Steven Person trying to break the neck of Casey Lichen. And Robert Saint, the owner of NEW, he comes out as well. Robert Saint means business. He's giving a stern warning to Steven Person, warning him, you better not jump on Casey Lichen and break his neck. You know it gets bad when the promoter has to come in. Absolutely. Calling him Mike as well. This is not a plea from Robert Saint to Steven Person. This is a plea to humanity. It's called a negotiation. his condition. I want JD Alpha. He's not here. Next time we come here in a match of my choosing. A match of Say his choosing. Or this kid never brushes his teeth again because from the neck down he would be paralyzed and it's your fault. Yeah, Robert Saint. Five. Uh oh. Three, He's got a countdown. He skipped four. Say it, let's yell it. I want these people sound like a man for once. I got one. Robert Saint agrees to the stipulation. You can remove this from my right now. Well, thank God for Robert Saint agreeing to that stipulation. Otherwise, Stephen Person would have broken this poor kid's neck. And that's how you do a negotiation, kids. I promise. I'll keep my word. I promise. 
I will never break a wrestler's neck in this company again. I promise. I promise to each and every one of you, as a person of my word, no wrestler will ever come to harm with me putting their neck in the chair. Now can you trust this man? As a man, a person of my word, the sticks you in honor and follow and run through my blood. Yes! He's leave the ring now. Leave the chair, I kind of like it. Steven Person is a lunatic. Get out. He's a genius. Get out. He's an insane maniac. And he's got what he wants. He's got a match with JD Alpha at the next event. Queens sucks. Yes! Brooklyn! Brooklyn number one! Well, Steven Person with some choice words here tonight. He does come out on the winning end, and he's got a match with JD Alpha coming up next time at our next event. I'm not sure if there's going to be consequences, but we'll see. Oh, and look at this. I thought it was done, but Steven Person now attacking. Who is this? Some guy. Some... Is that a fan? What's going on here? Steven Person has got the arm of this. I think it's a fan. He's attacking the security. What is wrong with this psychopath? This guy's a genius. This guy is a, he's an inspiration. Oh! That guy's got to have a broken arm after that. Come on, ref. Referee's coming to the ring. Somebody's got to get control here. See, he's a man of his word, right? His word is absolutely worthless. Thank you. Will you stop clapping, Vinny Bottaboom? He's a brave man. I should break your arm. So you can't clap anymore. What a jerk. See, this all would have been solved. They just simply combed his hair. Johnny P just chiming in here. And he is running for the cops as we speak. So we're gonna catch him. We're gonna... A serious case of donut security up in here. We have donut security guards up in here. We do nothing but secure and take coffee breaks. Just see the bucket with the tickets. Again, get your tickets out because we're going to ask the winner of tonight's 50 50 raffle. How do we find out whether I quit this or not? David has one foot out the door. Sorry for the delay, folks. Once again, get your tickets out because we're going to announce the winner of the 50 50 raffle. Ah, oh, here it is. How much will they take it home this evening? All right, the winner will be taking home 45 bucks. That's not bad for an easy night, I'll tell you that. Hey, it's better than nothing, all right? <laughs> All right, we have a puzzle winning ticket. The number is 522585. Once again, 522585. Oh God, it's me. Going once. Going twice. <laughs> I don't know what we're on. Sorry. Uh, 
person won the raffle, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Oh, we got we got a winner. Is it you? Once again, the number is five two two eight five. Too drunk to receive the ticket. And how about a round of applause for my main man, Jordan, over here for bringing the winning ticket? Give us some love, folks. And also, we have to thank each and every single one of you for coming out tonight. And hopefully, you guys come to our next event which will most likely take place in June, but make sure to follow us on our Facebook and Instagram pages for further details. So, Queens, New York, who's got time for one more match? Yeah. Uh, come on, Queens, is that who's got time for one more match? Yeah. Then, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event of the evening, Their bodyguard looks like Tay Diggs. Uh, if you don't know who Tay Diggs is, just look him up. Yes. <laughs> to me, he does. Like, we all just jump right in. Right? Let's get a little bit closer here with Bobby C. Here. Woo! That's it, man. That's it. Bobby C. Big fan. You know what, man? I like you. These two are a couple of unique individuals, I'll tell you that. They take care of their appearance, they're well groomed. They are the prince. You bow down to them when you see them in the street. You actually cross the street when you see them because you respect them. You don't want to walk on the sacred ground. Well, simply splendid Bobby C and Fabiolo. A very colorful and confident team. I think you'll like them a lot, huh, Vinny? I like them. I am uh, 
I am like a fanboy. I, I, I know Spider Man. We, we go. I figured fun. you were. Oh no! Oh come on! Oh come on! Then watch the Well, there they are, the new pit bulls. Pit bull number one, Gary Wolf, and Rage. Retirement home by now. What are they doing here? Oh, come on, Vinny. They're in great shape. They're ready for action here tonight. They're looking to take it to Team Simply Splendid. And of course, the ever present Chaos, their manager, is going to be with them every step of the way. I've seen them in the past before. I have to admit, they're ruthless. Absolutely. And the fans here tonight cheering for Rage. Who let the dogs out? Who, who, who? <laughs> and <laughs> Team Simply Splendid with some choice words for the fans here tonight. <laughs> Our friend Delightful Dave here is mortified. He's crying. Wait, what did he say to Let's not repeat what he said to the fans. Brooklyn Dynasty is here tonight. Let Super Nitro you. and Riddick. Let me tell you what the Brooklyn Dynasty is. Frank Sinatra, Jimmy Hoffa, I don't know. That's the Brooklyn Dynasty, not them. Well, the Brooklyn Dynasty here tonight in NEW are the tag team champions Super Nitro and J.T. Riddick. And Riddick and Nitro have quite the fan support here tonight. about to get started. All three teams seem to be ready. And there is the bell, ladies and gentlemen. We have a triple threat tag team championship match here at New Evolution Wrestling March Madness. Once again, I am the ace, Dante Jace, along with Vinny Badaboom, here to call all the action here tonight, especially this main event match, and Team Simply Splendid giving each other a loving hug. Hey, Dante, what do you think about that F on his ass? Well, the F on his ass, I believe, stands for Fabiolos. Oh, okay. But you've got a guy like Rage in there, and Rage has a lot of anger working on the arm of Bobby C., the Simply Splendid one. Now, Bobby C. may be a fancy individual, but he's as tough as they come, I gotta tell you that. He's really one of the meanest guys I know, and he's just devastating in that ring, but of course, Rage has the rage and anger to carry him through pretty much any match as well. He puts the tag into Pitbull number one, Gary Wolf, the ECW veteran, and the new Pitbulls are number one and three. Of course, Lucky 13. Nobody could replace Pitbull.
Pitbull number two, the fallen partner of Pitbull one, Gary Wolf. And he's working on the arm of Bobby C, but Bobby C reverses the arm ringer. Oh, and he goes to the eyes, does Pitbull number one, Gary Wolf. There's a lot at stake tonight with the championship belt on the line. That's right, Vinny. Championship match here tonight. And the tag, the force tag, is made by Super Nitro, part of the tag team champions. And Nitro working on Bobby C. Bobby C just getting chopped almost in half. Chopped like an onion. Yeah, Super Nitro. Oh, he ducks under the clothesline and a spinning wheel kick. The crowd getting pumped up. They want to see Nitro and Riddick retain their tag titles. Puts in the tag to JT Riddick. Double team maneuver here. Double elbow. Oh, and they drop it down right on Simply Splendid and only two. Referee says it's a two count. Barely able to get the shoulder up with Bobby C, and he takes a cheap shot. You see, look, look. That is not a wig. That's his real hair. Is get it? it off. Look, that is his real hair. Looks like a wig to me, but... No. All right, well, he's putting the boots to Riddick and Fabio Los battering away at JT Riddick double team by team simply splendid punching away you know snapmare there and a kick to the spine you know Fabio Los in a past life actually took on The Undertaker did you know that Vinny? that's right I saw a match of his on YouTube. And now he's here in NEW. We've got a lot of stars here tonight. Bobby C just taunting Super Nitro. And he goes for the rear chin lock, trying to wear Riddick down. Well, you know what, Ace? I don't know if I will walk around with the F on my ass, especially with the people I hang around with. Yeah, I wonder what the F would stand for for you, Vinny Bonaboo. Hey! Oh, yeah. Well, Bobby C, in firm control of this one, calls for the boot, and there it is. Rams Riddick's head right into the boot of Fabio Los. Wonderful teamwork. Choking away. Oh, another snapmare. And a blatant choke, come on. Now choking with the boot. Get out of here. Come on. And puts in the tag there. A lot of cheap shots from Team Simply Splendid. Up to the second rope is Bobby C. Just tosses Riddick out like a sack of garbage. And distracting the referee. Look at this, the bodyguard there taking a couple of cheap shots. Come on, ref, what are you doing? I tell you what, these referees really need to open their eyes here tonight after what happened in my match with Lou Nova and Ruda and Smoke. And now here, the interference going on. The whole night has been a travesty. Hey, you can't believe it. He's, a, he's an actual bodyguard doing his job. Now, most bodyguards today just stand there. He's doing his job. Well, whatever he's doing, it's paying off. They must be paying him a lot. Bobby C goes for the most arrogant cover I've ever seen. One finger. What are you doing? The splendid one. I mean, I got to give them a lot of credit. This is great tag team strategy. 
keeping the man in their corner, their side of the ring. Now Fabiolos is reversed, and a big close line from Riddick. Riddick just punches the fancy one in his face. However, Simply Splendid, their team is able to get the control back in an instant. Now you gotta think, not only does Super Nitro wanna get in there, but also the Pitbulls. Big body slam there from Bobby C. Oh yeah, you, you want to join their group, Vinny Bada Boom? I will be honored. Well, Bobby C. Oh, he's caught. Look at this. Uh -oh. Top he gets tossed off, and Bobby C. In a world of pain, this could be JT Riddick's chance. And he puts in the tag to Super Nitro. Nitro going to town on Gary Wolf, on Bobby C, on Fabiolos. Oh, and Rage makes the blind tag. Rage with a strong spine buster. Gary Wolf coming back in. Here it is, classic teamwork. Yeah, for sure. Double team. And double back elbow. They're setting Bobby C up for something. What is this? I'm going to show him on a Medicaid commercial. What? Oh, and there's a stunner there. That's a wig. What? Well, I'm not surprised. It is not his real hair. And a TKO by Rage. But again, referee distracted. A lot of distractions tonight. Too much distracting. And look at this, going for the pin. And that's it. The team of the Brooklyn Dynasty. The Brooklyn Dynasty takes advantage of the distraction and they retain their tag team titles. They look like the Clover Rage. Nitro and Riddick standing tall here tonight. NEW March Madness is a success. The tag team champions retain their titles. And I'm coming for you, Ruta, at the next event. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here tonight for New Evolution Wrestling March Madness. Once again, for Dancing David for Johnny P, for Vinny Bada Boom, for Richard Ruiz, Robert Saint, and all of us here at NEW. I am the Ace Dante Jace. Good night, everybody!